Hey everyone. Okay, so I just finished pumping. I used a flange and a cup at the same time, just kind of mod podging and testing out a few things. But as you can tell, my bowel is completely empty. My baby demanded that milk immediately. So she's already gotten that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this cup to show y'all pouring milk out of your baby Buddha cups. We've gotten lots of complaints and different things that are happening out in the Baby Buddha community, and I wanted to help address some of those in this video. So first off, you can tell that the tubing is still attached. I still have the cap here. This is actually not how you want to disconnect your Baby Buddha. When you finish pumping, the way this was actually designed was to completely take the cap off. Lots of moms are still leaving the cap on, but they're disconnecting the tubing. That's actually not how this is supposed to be because we want to keep this cap clean and ready for use next time. So you would actually just leave that completely attached to your tubing and take it off like that. And then that way it's set aside and ready for your next pumping session and there's no reason to be cleaning that or dealing with that. Um, if you have to do anything then just wiping it down gently with some soap and water and you're good to go. They don't need to be sterilized and they shouldn't be brushed with a brush. The decal and things can come off and then they can warp, of course. Anyway, moving on. So your cup. When you take this off, there is still milk inside of the duckbill that has not fully drained. So we need to be mindful of that because if your duckbill is not completely empty, then as you're pouring this, it will come out the flange tunnel. In terms of Pouring, we have lots of moms that deal with milk dribbling out and things of that nature. But a lot of the common issues that we're seeing is you're holding it really high above whatever it is you're pouring it into, whether that's a cup or a bag, anything of that nature. You actually don't need to do that. Just butt it right up to that pour spout. It's not got a nice little lip there. And then you would just pick it up and pour from there. It can be slow starting out but it just helps give you more control. I'm gonna tap that a little bit so we can keep talking without dripping milk. Another issue that we're seeing is milk is being sucked up into this backflow area. So if you have milk here, that's already a big red flag and we need to get some things addressed because as you can tell, there's no backup to the backup. So if you have milk here, it can very easily get sucked into this tube and then it sucks into the pump and now that pump is dead. So if you see milk there, obviously you're gonna want to try and pour that out first before then tipping it up and getting the rest of your milk. Now back to your duck bill. Mine has actually had the time it's completely drained out into the flange. So when you stick it upright, as you can tell, it's now pouring milk out of the flange and the pour spout. Now, if you're aware of this and you're ready for it, then just like I did, you can be very calculated with the angle that you're doing it and not spill a single drop. Well, just spilled a drop. Anyway, it did not spill from the flange. It just spilled from the pour spout because I didn't tap it. But of course, finish it out. Don't do like I did. Tap it, you've got all your milk and then you don't have to worry about spilt milk. But overall, it's really simple. Just the general summary, take the cap off so you're not getting it dirty. It's not in the way or blocking your pour spout. That way you've got that nice, easy lip to pour from. Be mindful that the duckbill has not fully emptied, so you either want it to drain back into the flange and gently pour it like I did, or if you wanted to, one way to do it is pour out all of your milk, then you would hold it up. This allows gravity to empty that duckbill. It's gonna take a few seconds. Once you see that duckbill empty, then you would repeat, pour it all out, and you've got all your milk that way too. And then lastly, if you are seeing that error and you are seeing milk in this area, of course, pouring that milk out first, then pouring out the rest, and then either emptying the flange by tilting it up more or letting the duck bill drain and re-pour. If you're seeing that error, please reach out to their customer service. They are aware of that 
They are completely prepared to help you and their LC that they have on staff is amazing. She will definitely get you taken care of. So, hopefully that helps and you don't spill a drop of your precious milk.